What's up guys? Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. Today, we're actually going to unbox a movie and a video game. Why a movie? I picked it up. Might as well. Alright, the first one's going to be... Thor! Dark World! Why a um, movie? I just want to. And why this movie? Because it just came out. <laughs> this and the, the game over here. This, this is the main attraction over here. This one's just a bonus. It was only 18 bucks at Walmart for a Blu-ray copy, so it's like, okay. Uh, starring Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, and Anthony Hopkins as Odin. So everyone's reprising the role, even Kat Dennings. Uh, bonus, uh, yeah, this is new for me. Bonus features. Marvel one-shot, all hail the king, and all new Marvel short. Exclusive look. Oh, I can't see half of it, there's a... A big ass sticker on there. A brother's journey, Loki and Thor. Thor and Loki, whatever. Should be doing like this, but still can't see it that well. Ex uh, never before four scene extended and deleted scenes. Check out the hilarious gag reel, which I love the gag reels to tell you the truth. I like to see them mess up their lines and stuff. All right, from the studio that brought you the number one superhero movie of all time, Marvel's Avengers. Comes another must-own epic blockbuster starring Chris Hemsworth as the mighty Thor. Worlds collide when a powerful ancient enemy threatens to plunge the cosmos into eternal darkness. Yeah, that was a game. I'm trying to have it to where the, uh, it shows up on screen. I can do this where I can't see my face, whatever. Now we're united with Jane Foster, a force to forge an alliance with his treacherous brother Loki. Thor embarks on a perilous personal quest to save both Earth and Asgard from destruction. And the rest just says the same thing. Rated PG-13 for sequences of intense sci-fi action and violence and some suggestive things. That means sex. So, we'll go ahead and unbox it. I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to poke this thing at. But there, there's not a real seam on the side, or the, a real section on the side like the games have. This one doesn't have that one. This one has a little unlock thing the digging. Yeah, I know some of y'all are out there like, why is he doing the movie? You do unboxings for video games and consoles and stuff. Which, Bud came up with a funny thing. Why didn't I just do an unboxing with my brand new computer? I just did one thing. I really didn't. Would it make a difference? No. Alright, the inside. That's a little flap thing right there that opens in and out. Then you have the movie in Blu-ray right there. Y'all can't look at that. There's some kind of code there, which I probably won't use. Just the this a regular standard disc. So that's Thor: Dark World. Probably gonna be watching that later on tonight. You know, because I, I like superhero movies. I like any and all superhero movies, even the crappy ones. Yes, I'm talking to you, Hulk. All right, the next one. The box is a little bit thicker. But this game is Thief for the PlayStation 3. Now, why would Nick pick a stealth game when he's not stealthy? Obviously, I'm a fat person. I'm not. I'm. Uh, I played all the Assassin's Creed games except for like the PSP and DS ones. I played all of them. Not really that big stealthy on those kind of games, but. I've known, like, Batman. I've been pretty good some stealth sections there. This one, you have to be stealthy. You have to be stealthy. Not really. It says choose your approach. So, your dude gets a bow and arrow. He has a little club that you smack people in the head with. It's basically, I would say it's like Dishonored. But, Dishonored got its stuff from the original Thief series. Because this isn't the first one. This is like the fourth game that's a reboot of the series. Which, I've never played the other ones, and I wish I would, eventually. But, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, the front has our main character reaching out for stuff. Uh, he's a master thief. He's not a master combatant, so you expect to be stealthy. Well, I'll be half and half. I'll be stealthy and try to fight people. On purpose. Now, if it's anything like Dishonored, which I sucked at the combat, even, even though I played Skyrim before I played Dishonored, did I? I played Skyrim before Dishonor, which Skyrim has a better combat system when it's uh, first person view, but Dishonored has a point where if you fight two people at once, you're going to have trouble, which is obvious how it's supposed to be. 
Skyrim, you fought three or four people at once, you can take them down. Now, Dishonor's a lot more realistic, and I, you know, with the powers and stuff. Okay. Anyway, Thief does a uh, marvelous job of making players feel like a real thief. If there's like two people on screen, I will use my bow, take one out, take the other, and smash them over the head. I'm not a stealthy person, and if I can find a way just to beat the living crap out of people, I'll do it. <laughs> What's yours is mine. Garrett, the master thief, steps from the shadows into a city, a treacherous place. Rule. It's called the city, by the way. There's no name. The city. When the citizens rise in a bloody revolution, Garrett's thieving skills are all he can trust when he walks a fine line between politics and the people, revealing a darker secret that threatens to tear his world apart. Choose your path and un unprecedented immersion, which, yeah, very helpful. Rated M for blood, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, use of drugs, and violence. Go ahead and have a look-see. Pause if y'all see something you like. You have to have a minimum of 25 gigabytes, which you have to. Uh, 1080p for everything else. It's a Blu-ray disc, of course. All right. Unboxing number two. See, this one has a little scene right here that I was talking about earlier. Put it right there. And you're done. In the past, I would have trouble doing that, and I would ruin the box. Like, I'd tear the... Did I even cut it? Yeah. Can't get over there. I will cut the box, the what you call it, the fabric, the plastic will get ruined, and you know, I just shrug it off, but I don't care. Of course, <sighs> no manual, of course. Which I've seen uh, with the PS4. I did see something. There's actually a section when you go down, when you look at all your stuff, like the overview, it actually has an electronic manual. Then why make this? Why make the boxes with this on the sides when you're not going to include a manual anymore? Why? You're not going to give us a manual, why even keep it? Alright. The disc is just Garrett's hand. Just that right there without his face. That's basically it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like the game. But, I've seen gameplay footage of it. It looks like Dishonored. I've wanted to get back into Dishonored because I didn't really give it a chance. I got stuck at one point, and I'm like, forget it. But, it actually has the kind of combat I liked, I liked which is first-person view, swinging swords around, blocking, all that stuff, powers. But, I couldn't get into it. Now, I'd like to get back into a genre like that, whether it's, whether it's stealth, combat, whatever. If they make more games like this, this would be awesome. That'll all be before this one comes out. Yes. I want. Uh, I got this poster whenever I pre-ordered my copy. Uh, that comes out in like a freaking month. And right after that is Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. A ridiculous name, but I played 8 through the first chapter of the first... I think it was Chu or Wu or someone. And it kept freezing every time you get too many enemies on the screen. And then I found out, after I got rid of it, like a month later, they put in a patch to fix everything. So maybe that would be better. And it's for PS4, so I need to increase my PS4 because I have how many? Nine? How many is that? Yeah. No. Let me count. One, two, three, Ten. Ten we get ten Wii Wii U games, which is exact amount four and six. Four Wii games and six Wii U games. Here's the funny thing, half of them are Mario. Half. Half of them are Mario games. I got Mario U oh, that's kind of in there. Mar Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy Two, Super Mario World. 3D and we and Luigi. That's five. Yeah, uh, I'm horrible at counting. So 
I don't know, this is a little extended episode, just me talking. But, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more episodes of Battle Network 2. More will be coming. Now, that's another thing I wish I would have just added at the end here. Three episodes a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as I record. I'm recording at least three at a time, and I can render them all out within 30 minutes, thanks to this new computer here. So... I'll ha I have episodes already ready to finish out this week, and I'm going to continue to record this game until I beat it. And then we'll see what happens in the future, because this is all between Bud and I on who records what. Now, there's a strong possibility he and I could both do five, not five, way ahead of myself. We could both record three, but two two different versions, because we did that with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, where I recorded, what color did I do, red? Yeah. I didn't say Red Rescue Team, I said Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I record red, recorded Red, and he recorded Blue for the DS. So, there's a strong possibility there he and I could both do that. Which I hope so, because I, I do want to play the whole series. Yes, I didn't play number one, which y'all can forgive me for that one. I could, I could do that later, or not at all. I prefer two and up. I didn't play number six. That's the one I didn't play. I remember I looked at a, a Wikipedia page of it. I did not play number six. I played up to number five. I played one, two, three, four, five, but I did not get to number six. And there's another one, I don't remember the name of it, that I've never even heard of. It might have just been some kind of rumor. But anyway, that's, that's an update. That's the new Let's Play that's going to go on three a week. Uh, if I ever get up to it again I will try and beat Mario get that out of the way Dragon Warrior Monsters I'm gonna have to play it again not all the way through I mean I want not all the way through I mean I'm gonna try and play it again eventually but not record meaning do off-screen training stuff like that to get them better stronger try and get more into it and once I get back into it I'll start recording that again so then I can have something Tuesday and Wednesdays because I can record a ton of episodes at once. I'm, I can go back to the way things were because I can do this quicker. You know, but anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Battle Network 2 and possible videos in the near future. Later.